uh, are uh, findings uh, on uh, the role of uh, blood uh, in the brain and also coupled with data from uh, human uh, uh, research that shows that cerebrovascular pathology is a pathway independent of amyloid that can be that might need to be separately targeted uh, to achieve maximum uh, therapeutic benefit inspired us uh, to be able to develop a first-in-class immunotherapy to neutralize blood toxicity. And uh, of course the challenge we had to overcome was that uh, fibrin had a very protective function which is uh, coagulation and hemostasis but also this detrimental function in inflammation and we needed a pharmacologic tool to be able to separate uh, these two functions of the molecule. So we developed the first in class immunotherapy that can selectively recognize only the inflammatory domain of fibrin without adverse effects in hemostasis. And uh, this uh, originally was a mouse monoclonal antibody that uh, had high efficacy in uh, blocking neurodegeneration and also uh, blocking inflammatory pathways in Alzheimer's disease models highly linked uh, with uh, inflammation that we observe in also human uh, uh, Alzheimer's disease uh, uh, patients. And this uh, high efficacy of this antibody in uh, neuroprotection as well as also uh, uh, low uh, adverse effects of, of interfering with coagulation uh, led uh, to the rationale of moving it forward towards clinical uh, development. Uh, the antibody has now been uh, humanized, uh, affinity matured, GMP manufactured. It has completed um, a toxicology in two species, including non-human primates. And uh, the phase one uh, trial in healthy volunteers uh, started uh, in May of this year.